The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Hi, and welcome back to The Learning Circuit, where we learn about basic electronics. I'm Karen, and today we're going to make a project using diodes and logic. So I wanted to build a skylight where there are four LEDs, a white one for the moon, and then three colors for three different clusters of stars. I chose green, blue, and purple. So the idea is it's going to have three switches. If switch one is on, then the green stars and the moon will be on because if the stars are out, then it's night and the moon should be lit. Uh, but blue and purple would be off. If switch two is on, green is off, blue and white are on and purple is off. If switch three is on, purple and white are on, but green and blue are off. So to make this happen, we're gonna need some diodes. Let's draw out our circuit to see how we'll have to wire it up to make it work. Let's talk about what's in our circuit. We have our nine volt battery, our three switches, our four LEDs, and their resistors. Now we have each switch hooked up to each colored LED, but not up to the white yet. So we want each switch to turn on the white. So let's connect those and see what happens. These little loopy bits mean that these wires are not connected and they go jump over those lines. All right, let's see what happens. if We turn on switch one. All right, switch one goes on, goes over to our green LED. Cool, comes on down, goes to our white LED. Cool, but uh-oh, we're now connected. So it goes back this way, and it's connected here. Oh, and it turns on our purple LED too, and it goes back this way, and it can turn on our blue LED. We don't want that, so we can fix it with diodes. Okay, so if we turn on our first switch, it goes there, and it goes there, but we don't want it to come back up here to go to blue, so let's add a diode to prevent it from going the wrong direction. And remember, diodes only allow current to flow in one direction, so this will stop the electricity from flowing back up this way to the blue. All right, let's keep going. So this comes on, but now we can still go back up here to the purple, so we'll add another diode right here. Let's double check switch one. Goes there, turns on, goes all the way down here, boop, boop. Turns on, ah, can't feed back that way, and can't feed back that way. Awesome, let's check switch two. Switch two is on, comes down here, good. Can go to, goes down here, can go through the diode, goes through white, awesome. Can't go back up to purple, but uh-oh, it can still come back up here and turn on green. That's no good, so let's add a diode. Let's check switch three. Okay, switch three is on, comes down, goes over to purple, turns it on, good. Goes down here, through the diode, over here to the white LED, turns it on. Can it get back up to green? No, it can't, because this diode stops it. Can't get back up to blue here, because this diode stops it. I think we're good. Now let's build our circuit. I'm gonna build my project in this snap wire box that I found at my local dollar store. I've already cut out some funky foam to go on the inside and put a moon and some star shapes. Now I wanna align my LEDs behind these. So instead of using perf board because it's kind of big, I don't wanna use that big of a piece of perf board, I'm just gonna use some foam core. Uh, what I'm gonna do is poke four holes to stick my LEDs through and then I'm gonna solder everything up on the back side. Now we need to figure out what resistors to use. Now these LEDs are rated for about three volts each and at 20 milliamps. So that's 0.02 amps in our Ohm's law equation. So if we take our nine volts and subtract the three volts that these are rated for, we get six volts. If we plug that into the Ohm's law equation, six divided by 0.02, we get 300 ohms of resistance. Now, the closest resistors I have for that line around are 330 ohm resistors, so those will work. Next, we need to talk about layout. Now, we have our circuit diagram, but that doesn't tell us exactly where we want our components to go. And especially since we want our LEDs in very specific places and our switches are gonna be in a very specific place, we need to figure out how all of our components are gonna get hooked up. So let's look at that layout. Here's a drawing of our circuit. 
The red wire takes the power from the battery to the middle terminal of each switch. From each switch, we have a line going to each colored LED. The program I use doesn't have a purple LED, so in this drawing, the purple LED looks red. Okay, we also need to get to our white LEDs. So from each of those colored wires, we're gonna go to a diode and then into the resistor of the white LED. Each of the other LEDs also have resistors before them. The black wires connect the cathodes of all of the LEDs and bring it back to ground of the nine volt battery. Okay, we need to solder one 330 ohm resistor to the anode of each LED. Next, we want to connect our diodes. We want to connect all of the cathodes of the diodes, which is the negative end with the line, to the resistor of the white LED. The other ends of the diodes are going to be connected to each of the LEDs. We're going to hook them up to the loose lead of each resistor, and then later we'll connect a wire from each switch to that joint. Next, we'll use some black ground wire to connect all of the cathodes of the LEDs. These will be connected to the black wire of the 9 volt battery snap. Okay, we have all of our LEDs connected together so that once each of the colored LEDs is hooked up, it will also turn the white LED on and then the cathodes of each of the LEDs are connected to the ground wire of the 9 volt battery. So the next thing we need to do is figure out our switches. Now they're going to go into this part of the case, so I need to mark my holes, put those in, and then connect them to the colored wires. And to the center terminal of each switch, I'm going to hook up a red wire that's going to connect to the red wire of the 9 volt battery snap. We're gonna end up soldering the red wire of the nine volt battery snap to the center terminal of this switch and then adding jumpers from this center terminal to the next switch and then to the next switch. Next, I need to solder the wires that go to each LED to each of their corresponding switches. Now that we have everything wired up, let's connect our 9 volt battery and test our switches to make sure everything's hooked up properly. Boop. Deploying switch one. Purple and white, yeah. Switch two, blue and white, yeah. Switch three, oh yeah. Everything works correctly. Multiple switches, <gasps> magic. All right, let's button this baby up. Okay, let's see it in action. Switch one, whoosh, purple and white are on, off. Switch two, only blue and white are on, awesome. Switch three, green and white are on. And if I switch on any of my other switches, it just turns on the color and white stays on because I want it on the whole time, as long as one of the other colors is on. Pretty cool. Look at all those pretty stars. Now, you could obviously use whatever color LEDs you want and whatever design you want. I just like stars. So I went with this design. Well, I hope you liked my little project. It might be a little bit simple, but it's a great application of what we've learned so far about diodes. 
If you have any other great diode projects, please share them with me on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning!